Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Julia Mann. I'm also known as the Habit Fixer and I really love helping women over 50 to enjoy amazing health and well-being and self-confidence. And I do that through EFT, which is a simple tapping technique, nutrition, skincare and digital products. And I'm absolutely thrilled because today I'm joined by the wonderful, wonderful Louise Miller. And Louise, if you don't know her already, is someone who is a productivity mentor. So if you are really struggling with your productivity, listen up. And she calls herself a genie for your genius. I absolutely love that, Louise. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm gonna hand straight over to you for your productivity habits. Awesome, thanks so much, Julie, for that amazing introduction. So, as you know, Julie, I don't do one size fits all. So when I'm working with people, it's very much about figuring out what works for them, encouraging them to experiment and find what helps them and their uniqueness with their productivity. So when you invited me to come and have this conversation, I was racking my brain trying to think of a habit or some habits that would be universally helpful and that would be really powerful for everyone. And I did it and it actually wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So here goes. All right. So most people think that productivity happens when you're doing. They think it's about taking action and being in motion and all of that good stuff. And that the more you do, the more productive you are. But actually what happens when we get stuck in that way of thinking is that you can end up doing busy work, spending all your time doing stuff that actually isn't that important or impactful. And then you end up feeling overwhelmed. You can get really easily distracted um, shiny object syndrome you end up starting loads of things that you don't finish so doing the doing isn't actually where productivity lies in my view because we can end up doing all the doing but actually not being very productive if we agree that productivity is about doing what's important and impactful rather than just doing lots of random stuff so instead of that my belief is that the habit that will make or break everyone's productivity is taking a pause. And it's about disrupting the programming that many of us have grown up with and have we're surrounded by all the time, which is that if you've got a lot to do, you just need to keep your head down and crack on. Roll up your sleeve, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. And that is really ingrained in a lot of people because it's what we're surrounded by. It's what we grow up with. You know, you're not allowed to rest if you... Um, haven't finished everything you're not allowed to go out and play if you haven't finished your homework all of that stuff so the way that we can disrupt that pattern of must keep head down and keep going is to build a habit around pausing because it's when we take that step back and we pause and we allow ourselves to step away from whatever it is that we're doing we then get to see things a lot more clearly we get a sense of perspective that we don't have when we've got you know our blinkers on we can just lift our heads and go right what am I doing what's my goal what am I actually trying to achieve and then you can get rid of all of the you know extra stuff that actually isn't helping you all of that busy work it's easier to to see what is busy work and what is actually impactful so the pause is really powerful and in my opinion that's where productivity starts it starts before you even start doing anything so some practical kind of applications around all of this and how you can build the pause into your day-to-day so at the very beginning of every day, instead of just switching on your computer, checking your email, diving right on in, you might want to just take a bit of a pause, reflect, have a little look at your calendar, maybe check back in with what it is you're trying to achieve and then choose what you're going to focus on for the rest of that day. Rather than being dictated to by whatever's, by whatever's landed in your inbox. It could be that every time you finish something, so for example, when you and I finish this conversation today, Julie, we might want to take a pause. Instead of just rushing straight into the next thing, take a pause, acknowledge what you've just done and close the tabs, put the paperwork away, tidy up a little bit before you then choose what you're going to do next. And again, that just brings a calmness and a sense of presence to what we're doing, a sense of intention to what we're doing that can prevent us from falling into overwhelm. So there's that. Um, yeah, and if you do feel yourself getting overwhelmed, which we all do from time to time, again, what I see all the time with my clients is if people feel overwhelmed, they think the answer is to just keep going, as I said earlier, and try and do things more quickly. 
that's actually counterproductive and is going to make you feel even more overwhelmed because those feelings of panic are just going to keep getting bigger. So much better thing to do the minute you start seeing yourself falling into overwhelm, take that pause, step away, go for a walk. Um, and then from there, when you're feeling calmer and more settled, then you can choose your next step. Uh, oh God, I've got such a long list of ways you can pause and how powerful it is. I'll give you a couple more. <laughs> so it could be that at the end of the working day, again, instead of just walking away from your desk, you might want to give yourself a pause at that point. Write yourself a little ta-da list. Um, so you're acknowledging and celebrating what you've done, which is a really great um, antidote to what we all tend to do, which is fixating on what we haven't done. A ta-da list is the antidote to that. And again, you might want to just put things away, close all your tabs, take that pause before you transition into your evening. Um, a kind of bigger way of doing this as well in terms of, um, you know, what you're trying to reach your vision and goals over a longer time period is at the start of every quarter or at the start of every month, allow yourself to pause so that you can check back in with your vision and your goals. Think about your capacity, what it is that you want to focus on. And again, make more intentional, considered um I wanted to say intelligent that's not what I mean but you know better choices from that place of calm um where your nervous system isn't ruling isn't ruling you so if you can build that habit to just pause and I'm not suggesting you try doing all of those things at once you might want to just play with one of them so you might decide to start by pausing at the start of the day or pausing in between tasks if you can build that into a habit you will find that you're making better choices about what you're going to focus on and inevitably your productivity will improve as a result so you know what that pause looks like what you do with it is entirely up to you but this uh, yeah it's such a powerful thing and I could talk about this for about half an hour but I'm not going to so Julie <laughs> back wow. over to you Louise, that is so refreshing what you've said because yeah I was brought up you to believe that you know you're gonna work really really hard and hard work pays off and but it is about being effective and actually what you've said about pausing not only does that have you become present like you said um and really look at what it is that you want but it enables you to look at well why am i doing this and actually doing things without being the person that um, embodies what it is that you um, stand for actually is probably way less effective than just, you know, just doing without that, that thought in mind. So I really absolutely love what you said. And I'm sure there are lots of people that are now thinking, oh, my goodness, what an absolute relief. Um, and maybe I need to go and talk to Louise. So I'm going to put all of Louise's links below this video my links will be there as well and I absolutely recommend that you check her out she's so so lovely so Louise thank you ever so much for being a bit of a genius thank you Julie it's my pleasure <laughs>